straight to the point. Now, time to set up things for us, to set up the environment so that we can start coding. Scala is a JVM language and requires the Java runtime. We will download Java, install Java runtime and set up Scala REPL. And then we'll set up Eclipse IDE for Scala development in this lecture. And then we will write our first Scala program in Eclipse. Let's go ahead and set up the environment. First, let's download Java from Oracle's website. It's simple. Open Chrome or any other browser that is your favorite on your computer. Open Google or Bing search engine and just type Java download. In the first few results, you will be getting the link for Java. Open that. We get this page where we have options to download JDK, that is Java Development Kit or JRE, Java Runtime Environment. Other things like other libraries and uh, documentation etc are also there. But for now, let's focus on JDK. Click that download button. You can see download for every platform is available. Choose the one matching your system requirements or configurations. It will take a minute or more based on your connection speed. Then let's install it. It may take some time, more than it's taking for me, you know. I can fast forward, yes. Asking for option to select for a folder for a JRE installation recommended is that uh, you let it be as it is. You can change if you want. We will be providing its path later to environment variables anyway. Okay, it's installed. Now open the directory of installation, go to um, bin folder and copy the path. We will be setting the path to environment variables so that we can directly access Java from command line. 
you may find this setting in system properties and uh, we can access those properties by right clicking my computer and go to properties or just directly by clicking start button write down environment or env you will see options to edit system or user environment variables please click that click on environment variable option okay now click on path then new and then paste the directory path for java's bin folder here if you have uh, two java versions installed system variables will prefer to open the first that comes while accessing path variables you may move up or down or change sequence after that we will click ok you may now access java and to check please open command prompt how to open that press windows and r button on your keyboard you will get run window type cmd and press enter you will get to see command prompt window in your computer screen you can type java and press enter see we have successfully set java if you haven't been able to do this thing check out the whole process again to check we are using which version of java uh, type java space dash version and you will get the java version along with the runtime install and uh, your computer's 64 bit or 32 bit version so guys congratulations we have just installed java on our computer after java it's time to install scala on our machine we will download scala repl first repl is nothing but an abbreviation for read evaluate print and loop let's install scala repl on a windows machine and then we will learn how to install scala repl on linux kernel based operating system such as mac os or ubuntu so let's start with windows machine open your favorite browser search for scala download and go on this link for scala download here on this page we have three ways to install scala first is scala binary using which we can run scala repl on our machine other two are activators distribution and scala id we'll take a look at that later let's click on this download button for binary package for now it will download scala's version 2.11.8 this 2.11 version needs at least java 6 but i would recommend to use java either java 7 or java 8 for improved performance we will be using java 8 and i encourage you to use that After it's downloaded, just press install and install it. Let the default settings as it is and press next. And wait. Once it's installed, we will set up the path environment variable so that we can directly access Scala from command line without specifying directory again and again. So click on start button same way we did for Java last time. Type env environment, click on environment variables. Now we have to copy the directory address so go to the installation directory of Scala it will be in your program files folder in system drive mostly it's your C drive copy directory address click on new and paste it now click OK 
again okay close the window now we will check it so press window button plus r on your keyboard type cmd to open command prompt okay now type scala it will open scala apple for you that's great now you can try out something let's type hello string is equal to hey there make it val yes val hello string is equal to hey there that's great we have installed scalar apple on your windows machine so now let's do it on mac open your favorite browser type in scala download okay click on first link same uh, click on scala download url it will open the official download page for scala click on download wait for download to happen after completion click on this downloads icon select reveal in finder option here you have the scala 2.11.8 version downloaded if it's not unzipped already unzip the folder now we have this folder scala 2.11.8 Next, we will add Scala's path. For that, we will first move this folder to desired location. For me, it's a tools folder in my base directory. And uh, let's rename this to Scala. Great. Now open terminal, type echo, then export. It will be showing on your computer screen. Export path, users, then your username then the folder then scala and then bin give a colon dollar sign path and then two arrows with the tilde slash dot and bash profile press enter the script will set your given path to path variables to environment variables and save it into bash profile so that in future you can use it directly now we have set path for Scala in your Mac. You may want to restart terminal for the changes to take effect. So close and reopen terminal. Type Scala and great. REPL is running. So it's your time. Try things out. Scala REPL is fun to play with and we will be playing with Scala REPL as much as possible in our lectures. Now. Let's install Scala extension into Eclipse. If you don't have Eclipse installed, you can download and install Eclipse from its website that is eclipse.org. After download and install, we will add Scala plugin in Eclipse. Let's take a look at that. In your Eclipse main window, you have a menu item name help. So click on that help menu. Click on Eclipse Marketplace in this window search for Scala it will show you Scala IDE click and install that click confirm accept licenses and click finish let it install for you it may give you a warning, but uh, you can ignore that. On completion of install, it will ask you for your permission to restart Eclipse. So you may want to say yes and restart it. That's it. Scala plugin is installed. Let's now create a demo project. Go and click on File, New Project. In these, select Scala Wizard, click OK, give your project name. You can change project settings later also. Click Finish and choose Scala Perspective to open if it asks you for that. Now we have this uh, directory structure for our Scala app. So right click on your source folder, okay, new Scala object, give it a name 
in our case demo let's define a value name is equal to user and for our applications entry point we will extend app object and we will do a simple print operation using string interpolation let's run it and here we got the output that's great isn't it so we made our first color program in Eclipse time to summarize our lecture we first installed Java on our machines then we installed uh, Scala REPL on Windows machine and then we tried it with Mac OS then we set up Scala ID for Eclipse and finally we wrote our first Scala program we talked about Scala language its offerings its features and today we wrote our first Scala program I am already feeling excited for things we will learn further it's going to get better and better as time passes and there's much more to come because you know about Scala's offerings I hope you enjoyed this lecture we have set up things for us thank you for your time and Happy learning. Bye-bye.